Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're doing a seven round mock for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We've got a lot of picks, so let's just get into it. No time to waste. Right off the bat, number one overall. And a lot of people go on Aiden Hutchinson. I've seen Kayvon Thibodeau. I've seen all three of these tackles go number one. For me, I think I'm going to go for Evan Neal. He's my tackle one. Just has a slight edge over Kim Aquanu, but that's subject to change. I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I'm not set in on that. All right. So round two, Jermaine Johnson is here. That's really interesting. I really like Jermaine Johnson. Brian Osamoa, I like him as well. Zion Johnson's here. Maybe take a you know, double dip on the O-line. Travis Jones. There's some good players here, but I think we're going to go edge. I think it's, a, it's an obvious need. Address it here. You could probably get away with dressing edge later, though. The only problem is I don't really see anyone worth taking over him as the only problem. Like you could say maybe a Jalen Tolbert or a David Bell or George Pickens. Actually, he's probably top receiver left on my board at least. And I'm going to go Jermaine Johnson. Sure, you could probably get a viable edge later, but for me, Jermaine Johnson is probably a top 20 guy in this draft. So I really like the value. Jalen Petrie is still on the board. I don't know what other corners are there. Brian Osamoa is still here. So isn't Travis Jones, man. That's another that's a ooh, there's some guys I really like who are still on the board. Dylan Parham's still here. And we've oh okay, we've got pick seventy as well, so we can probably get two of these guys more than likely. I think I like Osamoa here. See that different from what you already have though at linebacker. And what what other corners are on the board? I see Jalen Petrie. Oh my gosh. Like not not a lot. Not a lot for for round three at least. Certainly not early round three. Hmm. I'm gonna go Osamoa still. I think that's really good value in round three. And now, Travis Jones. It's between Travis Jones and Jalen Tolbert, I think, depending on... Yeah, so I'm not seeing um, George Pickens. So, probably between those two guys. Boye Mafe. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. You can get value at edge later in the draft. A guy like Boye Mafe. But I'm going to take Travis Jones here. He's, he's a big guy gonna just clog clog lanes really good pick had a great senior bowl as well rising up my board for sure sky Moore is still here dylan parham's interesting but i think you gotta go receiver here with this pick and i do i actually like christian watson more not a lot of people think this way but i'm on christian watson i actually have him rated higher if you want to check out my wide receiver rankings, they are on the channel. Here we go. Wow, long wait, but we're picking again at 153. Luke Fortner. I like that pick. Also, if you go corner, Tariq Woolen's on the board. I do like him. Hmm, this one's this one's a bit tough. I think I'm gonna Chris Paul. Oh my gosh, okay. I think this pick might be Chris Paul. This guy had a standout performance at the Senior Bowl. I have him higher than round five for sure. I I think that's the pick. Tariq Woolen's interesting. Probably another guy I could have went with, but I really liked how Chris Paul looked. I think he rose up my draft board enough to warrant him. Certainly enough to warrant him in the, here in the fifth. All right. So... Do you take another receiver? Tariq Woolen's still on the board. I think that's where I'm going to go. Might look around. Don't need a running back. Still have Travis Etienne from last year. I do not agree. With oh, Cole Turner, though. Mm, I really like Cole Turner. Who's more likely to be at the next pick? Probably Cole Turner. 
over Tariq Woolen, just because he's rated higher on the board. So I'd feel like he's more likely to get taken before 188. So we're going to go with Woolen. Hope that Cole Turner is here. All right, we're taking Cole Turner then. I really like how this draft turned out. I think if the Jags have a draft like this, that'd be a good day. Very good day. Who else we got on the board? Oh, the Penn State kicker. Um, I mean, I guess maybe just this, maybe Calvin Austin here. Uh, 5-9. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I did not know he was, uh, that small. Wow. Maybe still, still go for him. Kyle Phillips, 5'11". Man, that's interesting. You could take Isaiah Thomas, get another edge. But I'm going to go for Luke Fortner. Just another lineman. And then, oh, we have back-to-back picks. That's right. Let's, what, what other receivers are on the board? You don't really need, you don't need to take two receivers here, but Bo Melton, actually, I kind of, mm, that's a bit interesting. <laughs> let's go for, uh, let's go for, <laughs> man, I don't know, Calvin Austin, at 5'9", you might be looking at him in a similar role to what you're wanting to play Travis Etienne in, so do you really want to do that, let's go for another interior guy, and Otito Obonia. I've seen a little bit of him. I haven't seen anyone have him too awful high, so I'd say round six is probably realistic for him. Now, last pick in the draft, and I'm not seeing anyone I'm in love with here. Marquise, Marquise Bell, maybe? There's good value at running back here, but like I said, you don't really need running back. You don't need a Zaquandre White. Or... Let's go for this Tennessee Vilas Jones Jr. Six foot, two hundred pounds. I don't know. It's a seventh round pick. Like, you're not overly worried about that. But that is the draft. I think. I think that's a pretty great draft. Maybe some of the late round picks you do do better, but I really like it. So let's let's look at the results here. All right, Evan Neal, number one overall. Love that pick. Then you got Jermaine Johnson, a tremendous value pick at thirty three. Brian Osamoa, another guy who I don't think makes it to the third round. Travis Jones, he could. Be there early in the third, but again, another guy I think is probably a second. Christian Watson, third, fourth round. I think I've got him a little higher than that, but some people don't, so I could he could definitely be there. Chris Paul, guy I really like the value for him at 153. I think that's a great pick. Getting two really solid tackles in this draft. Tariq Woolen, I think he's a solid corner. He's got some potential there. Cole Turner. That's just great value for me. For me, I love Cole Turner. There's a lot of really good tight ends later in the draft, which is why, personally, I think you could see a guy like Trey McBride um, fall a little bit just because this tight end class is really deep. There's not a lot of star power, but it's really deep. Uh, Otito Ogbonia, really just one of the few names I recognize at the spa, if I'm honest. Vilas Jones Jr., don't know a lot about him, but picking up another receiver late, I like it. So that is it. Tell me what you guys, how you guys think I did, adjustments you'd make, stuff you'd do differently, players I passed on that I shouldn't have. Let me know all that. See you guys next time.